Good morning, y'all. I'm just sitting here trying to make something happen. Praise God. And, um, I was thinking about, I was thinking about delivery services, how, how it has changed our lives. You can deliver and make money, or you can order something. I like uh, they all. I like all of them. I, I done used a lot of them, including the old fashioned before. Before they had the apps on the smartphones, I used to call on the phone and have it delivered. I would have my grocery delivered. I would call the specialty store, have my grocery delivered. Or I would just call the grocery store. They, they'll deliver for you for a fee. And um. And then when the guy get there, he is so nice. He 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 told all the stuff upstairs. Very polite. But I was just thinking about the uh, iPhone and its facial recognition. Like, and I was thinking about senior citizens who don't know how to use that kind of technology. But do you realize that they try to make it easy for us? And why? Somebody must really be attractive to those people. <coughs> that make all kind of thoughts go through my mind. But I don't want people to know I think like that because they don't want me around. If somebody with that kind of ability and authority and power can create something that's a convenience for somebody that they just think is beautiful, would they, would they sin for them? I'm going to leave that alone. But, yeah, you know, senior citizens, um, a lot of them, and I'm, when I say senior citizens, mature adults, don't know how to use the uh, latest technology. Where the young people, I, I'm going to say 50 and under, running to get all the new stuff, all the new bells and whistles. The older, the mature people aren't, aren't spending their money on all that stuff. So they don't know how to use it. But do you realize that they make it easy? I know my son got a, a password on his phone. You have to be. He's a straight A student, praise God. But you have to be for the password he got on his phone. You have to be. I said, boy, what's his password? And so he going to take the phone and open it for me. I watch him type in his password. <laughs> I'm like, you have to be. You have to be. An Einstein. You have to be an Einstein for a password like that. But. He made, sure, he made sure nobody gets phone, and then he get mad when people think he watching porn. But he's not. He's not watching porn. I don't think he's watching porn. He don't have. He don't have the um, the signs of somebody. If you ever seen somebody that have watched porn, you can tell they're aroused. They're they're in heat. They turn on. I think he's still watching Roblox and cartoons and shit. Some of those Chinese cartoons, Shin Shin. But it's fascinating. It's, I never thought about learning to speak Chinese until I watched that cartoon. I think 16 years old, I think he's still watching cartoon and, and he get mad as hell if I open his phone and, he, and, I, and the cartoon started playing. That's what I think you know. But I don't think he's watching porn. He don't exhibit signs of nobody that watches porn. But I started praying for him a wife. I started praying for my wife. Pray. I just praying for my, my a whole family that's not married. Everybody in my family that's not married. Spouses. But with that being said, the, the facial recognition on the iPhone is military-grade technology. That's military-grade technology. Well, Cindy, how you know that? How do I know that? I'm on a date with a uh, a sergeant 
and he he's still on active duty and he showed me his clearance and stuff that's military grade technology on the iPhone for the facial to recognize you and open it up without, without a password or fingerprint or nothing that's military grade technology and what am I saying what my point would be my point is this it's important to somebody that you be able to have access to all of these things on the smartphone. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Reverend if I can teach a player or another person, another very astute young woman or young man, young gentleman, a very astute lady or very astute gentleman, want to teach a class to the older generation on how to use that watch. Well, I like to be able to, I know one time, I was sitting in the house and my cell phone broke. And uh, I was so mad. That's that's one reason you use your kid's cell phone. So I got on Amazon Prime for some reason. I don't even know why I got on there. And I needed everything. I needed a phone, a charger, a, a holder, a, a car, a car mount. And then I needed grocery for some reason. And I order, also ordered a... Uh, a printer. Oh, the print. I set up there on Amazon Prime. Oh, the printer, a new cell phone, a holder, a car, a, the car uh, mount we put the cell phone on. Then order some groceries, cold grocery. And and they brought it within two hours. They brought it within two hours, right there. All of that stuff and the printer. I sat right there. I was like, wow. I sat right there and I plug it, put it, plug it up, did it. And, and, and sit at the desk right there and I think that wants to have access to these things I like to order grocery off Instacart I like it because I don't like to carry my own water I might want to order four cases of uh, bottled water but I don't want to carry it upstairs so if I order you got to carry it upstairs if it's a girl I go I go help her carry she carry it I carry it, she carry it together I know one time I had one girl deliver my bottle of water. She was a black girl. Not, not that that means anything. I ain't saying that black girls are more surgeon. She put a bottle of water down at the steps and uh, looked at me. <laughs> so I went down and helped her bring it up. I said, we got to do this together. That's the reason I ought to deliver. Because I don't want to bring it up the steps. So that's convenient. Boy, I mean, I know sometimes that commute from work when I was in Atlanta was I, I was like, no, ma'am. And I am mean, I come home one day after a long commute from work and had to go to the bathroom and was no tissue paper. My mind say, where the tissue paper at? And how am I going to get some? That was just that time. I couldn't drive a half a mile around the stores to go get some tissue paper from out the neighborhood. It was just that time for that long commute. Baby, I sat right there and ordered me a case of tissue paper, and they brought it. And those are the, those are the moments when you're glad you had that kind of technology. Now I know the senior, the, the senior center kind of do things the old way. I know some people I know go to the paper company right around the corner. It's right up the street from here, and they get these big super boxes. Like you got, like you Walmart inventory drop off or something. These big super boxes of tissue paper that last for years. They last so long. The box lasts so long that you go in and get one, and the outside paper then turn, then turn brown. Now how long you had this tissue paper up in here? Then the outside of the paper then turn brown. But that's how they order tissue paper. That's how the old people order tissue paper. They don't go and get a twenty roll. They gonna get probably a 200 roll big old super inventory box. So they may not feel like they need technology, but if you do need technology, they are they are making it grand for all of us. Actually, they put all kinds of bells and whistles on these little uh, smartphones. Guess what else the smartphone did? Guess what else the smartphone did? You remember the boom boxes? The black men used to have them boom boxes walking down the street with big old radios on their shoulders. You remember I had a boom box. I had it in my car. We would go to the park and turn it on. We, yeah, I had a boom box. You remember that? 
what is, how do you think that came into being? I bet the white person, uh, educated, a uh, highly educated white person said, shit, I'm going to put that on a uh, chip. I'm going to put that shit on a chip and make a killing off a nigga. And that's just what happened. That's just what happened. You put it on a chip. And I think you could get the cheapest iPod was probably $50. And that's for the little one. And you know, the dog gonna win if you if you walk around with a boombox on your shoulders. That you're not gonna buy the little one. They could put, they probably bought the two hundred dollar one. So they making a so they made a killing instantly. Instantly. They made a killing instantly. They made I bet they made billions of dollars instantly just off the musical aspect of the of these smartphones. And uh touch pods and all of that. So, with that being said, look for web announcements. The senior mature adults. I'm not saying you old. The senior mature adults will have a class upcoming on how to use the smartphone devices and take advantage of all of the new bells and whistles that they have on it. Because you have to remember, remember some crazy password. I know when he was little, his password used to be "I like Marvel." He didn't change it to something. He didn't change it to something else. I couldn't. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see. I was looking, but I couldn't see it. He didn't change it to something else. But when he was little, it was "I like Marvel." So anybody don't be typing in open all them passwords. I seen a. I seen a man <laughs> forgot his password. I swear, he broke out into a cold sweat. And if he didn't think anything of a lady sitting next to him, I swear he would have started using foul language. So this, is, so the facial recognition is a great technology for everybody. So with that being said, I'm probably gonna get this the iPhone Pro. Cause my daughter said, "Mama," she told me, "She don't buy no more iPhones because it's gonna be." I heard something about the new iPhone that's coming out. So I guess this is the one I'm, I'm gonna have to buy. That's the one I'm going to have to buy. I might, have, I might end up with two. I might end up with two or three phones. They got a special. If you port your number into XYZ company, you get your almost, uh, almost was never used out the box. I think it's an iPhone 8. Just port your number in. Now, you know, I'm going to go port my number and get that one. I'm going to have, I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have a new one. And then I gotta have my Android. I don't do my keep it charged. Just got all I do is keep it charged up. That's all I have to do is keep it charged up. With that being said, yeah, I like I, I'm sure you can order a lot of stuff on Amazon Prime. I like the fact the fact you can order cold grocery. I mean, what if you have a, a date and you want to order a steak and some wine and some string beans and some salad? And some uh, and some stuff to make some ice cream, some homemade ice cream. You know what? God is so good to me. I, I was wondering why my son dad acting funny. But I, I'm like, I'm so fucking stupid. I done said, on this, I had told somebody years ago. I used to go to church with this dude. We were just friends, and I enjoyed that about us. There was no commitment, no pressure, no nothing. We just enjoyed going to church, worshiping God, and talking. But he may have had intentions that I didn't wasn't aware of at the time. I just thought we was friends. Girl, I went and told somebody he looked like he have a little dick and he's skinny. Girl, you believe that motherfucker finer than a motherfucker right now? That, he is so damn fine right now. Is this my bus? I think it's my bus.